You ever try to carry a gold bar through an airport? Very heavy. Uh, yeah, try it next time. You know, they won't let you through, right? In fact, if you tried to carry $100,000 of gold through an airport, not only would you not get through, but the assumption would be you're a criminal, you stole the gold, and they would just take it and keep it without a court order. Now, try to carry $100,000 of cash through the airport. <laughs> you ever try that? Uh, you can put it in a bag, and as you're walking through the x ray machine, just nonchalantly say to the officer, yeah. I'm carrying $100,000 of money onto the airplane. You won't get through. Now, not only will you not get through, they'll just take your money. They'll just take it, and the assumption will be you stole it, okay? So cash is a unit of control. Now, put $100,000 in a bank and try to wire it uh, to someone or just take it out, and they're going to ask you why. Tell them it's none of their business. <laughs> Try to send it to someone privately to a, a numbered Swiss bank account, right? See how that works. That won't work. That's a system of control. Bitcoin is the one network you can't control. Nobody can control Bitcoin. So if you're insecure about being able to own your own money, do you own it? And can you actually use it without asking somebody's permission? Then the solution is not gold. It's not silver coins. It's not stacks of cash. It's not money in a bank in the U.S. It's certainly not money in a bank in Lebanon, Argentina, anywhere in Africa. The one network uh, that you have that gives you a decent chance of owning your own money and then being able to spend it the way you want is Bitcoin.